fam? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, so we're coming to you from Fort Leonard Wood. And uh, we're just going to give you a little later in the video, I'm going to give you a brief pan around of the place because, I mean, if you drive past it, you'll miss it because they only have how many spots? 12 or they 16 or something? I think it's 12 or 16. Between 12 and 16 slots. I like it because it's very quiet. Yeah. Full uh, hookup and all of that. Uh, the spaces are pretty big. Yeah. You know, you saw that in the last video how big the spaces are and stuff like that. Only thing I don't like is they don't offer cable <laughs> and... There's only like how many channels? Three channels. Yeah. I'm like, come on, man, Tim. Come on, man. <laughs> Three channels. I'm like, um, not even the Ion channel, because that's my channel. Like, I need the Ion channel so I can watch my shows. But anyway, we'll just have to stream while we're here. So, no big deal. But I just, I like the local channels because I get to watch all the TV shows I grew up with. Yeah. But we're not getting those now and I'm just like I forgot they the amenities are just not there they don't have a shower they don't have uh, oh, yeah. the washer dryer the bath none of that so I mean but for $22 a day you cannot complain there you go. and uh, I want to say that they probably have a laundromat on post yeah. and they probably have a pl actually if you needed to go take a shower outside of your RV you could go to the gym because yeah. they have you know, the gym has all the showers and stuff like that. So you're really not missing it. You just have to drive to it, which I don't care about. You know, it's no big deal. Um, I know somebody was asking us about washer and dryers, and we probably won't get that until we uh, get to our winter spot and we can set up and stuff like that, set up for the winter. And I don't know where we'll be for the winter. But anyway, this morning we got up, well, actually last night, and I told Donald, I'm like, uh, we're going to switch places today. I'm like, um, I don't want you to make breakfast. And so he was like, sure. <laughs> I thought I was going to get a little hesitation, but he didn't give it to me. No. So he's going to make breakfast this morning. I'm going I'm to I'm cook like a, not even cook, I'm going to throw some hash browns in the air fryer. That's going to be my contribution. Okay. Because I was telling him last night as we were sitting down watching this show on Hulu called The Old Man. If oh. you have not checked it out, check it out. It's pretty good. But Donald and I are stuck on Donald don't want to get stuck because it's a series, right? Yeah. But I like stuff that I could binge watch. But you really can't binge watch it right now because it's real time. So, uh, like, they're up to episode five, and every Monday they release another episode. But anyway, while we were watching that, I, I wanted a cup of coffee. And I'm just like, Donald has not made my coffee in a minute, minute. That used to be your thing. Like, y'all, <laughs> Donald make the best cup of coffee. I know. I haven't, I haven't had the opportunity to say that. That's because I'm, I've been drinking this iced coffee so exactly. much. I have really been drinking iced coffee and matcha's like crazy. Exactly. But anyway, we got we got to get back to uh, Peggy and Don coffee sessions because I'm missing that coffee, baby, because I don't know what he does to it. And see, now he hasn't made it in a while. He's going to have probably have to make it a couple times to get it right back and let you, you know. <laughs> exactly. It's been a while. It's been a while. We don't have the special creamer. We still got the iced coffee creamer. So I don't oh. even have. I, that's the reason why I haven't been doing it. Okay. Because we don't have my creamer okay. in well, thing. Because I've been buying the almond. Uh, almond milk creamer. The and almond stuff. milk creamer. Okay. That's okay, player. We're going to rectify that today. We'll stop by the commissary and get him his special creamer. Because I want my coffee. <laughs> Hey, fam, I just want to make sure I mentioned that we heard you guys about the audio quality and we're in the process of getting that taken care of. But we're inside today. Welcome to our humble abode. Hopefully the, the sound quality is good. We should have that in the next couple of videos. We have some microphones coming in. Yeah. So thank you guys for mentioning that. Thank yeah. you for sticking around. Thank you for holding on to it. Just have some patience. We got to fix it. I just want to say this too. Sunlight makes your skin look so good, baby. Mm, I say that all the time. So we got sunlight coming directly in from this big window right here we have in the back. That and was, we're just using that, and that looks, yeah. that looks good. You look good. 
Get off me, player. That, that should count for some points or something, right? Get off me, player. <laughs> See, he think, he think that's going to get him out of making my coffee, but when this video is over, we're going to the commissary for some creamer, there okay? I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Okay, but anyway, um, our electric bike, well, one of them kind of went out. We're getting an error code 03 on the bike. Uh, so with error code 03, that means the... The hand throttle is not engaging to the motor. There's some mm -hmm. kind of connection problem to where we're not able to automatically use the electric motor to push us along. We got a pedal mm -hmm. basically the whole time, mm -hmm. which is not what we got the bikes for. Exactly. Hey, that was, look, we paid too much to be out here pedaling <laughs> out in these streets. We can't be out here in these off these streets pedaling like that. Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, uh, so I got on the phone and I called him and I was only on hold for what, six minutes, something like that. And the guy came on and I told him what was wrong with the bike. He was like, no problem, that's common. He thinks something just kind of came apart. So he sent me a video on how to fix it. Yeah. Now they do have a YouTube page, right? About the electric bikes, but I did not see error code 03. I saw 07, 08, 09, but I did not see 03 but anyway uh when i called i got through i got a guy and he was like if this does not work write me back and because he sent it to my phone he sent me a link to the youtube page and he was like uh if that doesn't work write me back on the email that i sent you and we'll get it taken care of he said i promise you'll be riding within the hour that's what he told me but you know we haven't tried it yet so we're going to do i said all that to say that we're gonna do it today. So we're gonna see if the video he sent me uh, corrects the problem. Uh, if not, I'll write him again. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and start our, I talk too much. No, you anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get breakfast. No, not me. She's gonna Donald. assist. She's gonna uh, hopefully provide. I'm not, I'm not gonna be a sous chef. I'm not gonna be anything. This, hey. He said you're making the hash browns, right? But I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> and don't y'all be on here telling me I'm mean to him. He just make me break. <laughs> but anyway, so Donald, what, what are you making, player? Well, let's see. Ooh. What you making, player? What you making, player? <laughs> we are. I think we're gonna what have. Making? We're gonna have sausage and eggs. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. There you go. That's good. I'll take that with a little hash brown with some hot sauce on it. Yes, that's that's that was my yeah that's my goal that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So it's just we gonna do like separate eggs and sauce like sausage patties and scrambled eggs. However you decide to do and it. Maybe a little because bit of cheese Donald, on the eggs. Because Donald does his together, he put a little cheese on it, and it's pretty good. I I, have I do. Him credit. Do you want to try that? I, it's up to you, player. Yeah, I think I can do a I think I do a combination. There you go. That's what I'm gonna do. So it's Chef Don, Chef the no, the Chef Don in the kitchen. Don. Don the chef. Don the chef. Don Let's the see. chef is in the kitchen. Hey, y'all. We haven't really brought y'all in here much, but look at this. Look at this. We got space. I can go way back here. Look at that. <laughs> we, listen, I know it's not the fifth wheel I wanted, but I'm loving this RV more and more every day. I, I am. And we're going to give you guys probably a full tour. Probably won't happen until July because I'm still trying to feather the it nest. Is, July. is it July? I thought it was June. <laughs> August, y'all. Because I'm still kind of feathering the nest. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put up curtains or not. Curtains might be good, though. Blackout curtains, especially with all this heat and sun. So I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to do. I've got my little knickknacks already because I brought them from the old house. And so I don't want to put too much in here because I don't want pack up. Because no, pack up yeah. day can be either good or bad. And I want it to be good because I don't want to be picking up lamps and stuff and all that and knocking down, taking down pictures and all. I don't want to be doing all of that. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to come up with something that I like uh, to decorate and then we'll give you guys a full tour probably within the next four weeks or so okay all right all right so look we in church all minds clear all minds <laughs> clear i'm gonna go ahead and get ready all, all right, right Donald, hands. donald's washing his hands he's gonna get ready 
He's already taken DJ out for his walk and his breakfast and everything. Yep. He is so good with DJ. I have to tell you, like, Donald is good with DJ. DJ was a, a part of life that we didn't know we needed. There you go. Now, it is, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, 10, 10, 15, yeah. something like that. We had a thunderstorm come through at about three this morning, maybe yeah. four, yeah. about four o'clock this morning. And I think I've just trained myself to sleep through it because that's when you get your best sleep. And so I went into a, <laughs> a sleep coma Yeah. because I slept until nine o'clock maybe? Nine fifteen. Nine o'clock because I was up, but then the storm, came, I was kind of up because I was starting to watch TV and stuff. And that storm came and I was like, shoot, let me just roll on over. And I laid down for another what, four or five hours. I slept really good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hear Donald take DJ out this morning because I normally they normally leave about seven in the morning, six thirty seven. Yeah. And I didn't even hear him shut the door this morning. So you know I was sleep sleep. And then y'all got caught in the rain, right? We got caught in the rain. So we went yeah. outside, we walked and DJ found a little spot because you know he's picky about where he goes and everything. So he found a spot that I started feeling drops. And I guess DJ felt it at the same time because he turned around and started like pulling the leash toward the <laughs> RV. Cause I guess he knew the rain was going to come down. And sure enough, like seven DJ steps later, we, it was pouring down on us. We just running back. And I got slides on, so I'm not the best runner. I'm still in pretty decent shape. But I couldn't run. I couldn't keep it with DJ. But we made it back pretty quick. But he knew it was coming. He could tell for some reason. Listen. DJ make those funny cat faces. You know, have you seen those little uh, cat memes and stuff that go around? Because <laughs> he he has that. I wish I gotta capture it gotta capture when he's that. in trouble or when he feels like he's in trouble, <laughs> like when he's trying to escape something. Like he run up on a big dog and the dog runs back at him, but it stops short of getting him because because he's locked up. He. <laughs> he got that face. I, I can't wait to catch it. Because DJ tried to be a bully he on these, all these streets. He, he's funny. At the, he's funny and mischievous at the same time. Yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this breakfast real quick. All right, fam. Let's do this. All right. I'm an old school man. I only want to fall in love once with an old school girl. Old school. When I know, I'll know Hand in hand like left, right, left, right, oh, 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 oh. Bonnie and Clyde You can have whatever you like When it's you and I We can have the world See us coming like left, right, left, right, oh are you the same? Alright fam, for some of y'all experienced cooks out there, um, y'all probably noticed I put the sausage in the cold pan. I had no idea that was a thing, but Peggy just informed me, you never cook with a cold pan. The pan should be like at least hot or warmed up or something. Hey, now I learned a little bit, but I've done it like this. Maybe it takes a little bit more flipping, a little more work, but that's how I've been doing it. Let's see how it turns out. Looks good. Yeah. So I just gotta make sure I get them all cooked up. And once I get it like this, then I can start crumbling it up before I add the eggs. Hey, whatever method you have to use, as long as the end result is what you want it to be, I'm good with it. There you go. Are you the same? Are you the same? Can we get comfortable? I don't really like going out. It makes me uncomfortable. Comfortable, yeah. We could be chilling on the sofa. Or cooking in the kitchen like left, 
right, left, right, oh, oh. Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Touching my body goes When you're touching my body go I want it I need it I'm on it I'm on it Are you the same? That's the way I used to be when I first started making these little eggs with Peggy Put the little pan on it to get the cheese to melt right there directly on the top and that way, when she put a hot sauce on, she put it right directly on top of the melted cheese, cut it in half, we share a plate, and we have breakfast together. That's how we used to do it. All right, player. Listen, Donald is putting his whole heart <laughs> and whole soul into making me breakfast. Uh, however he, whatever it takes for him to arrive at his final destination, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I the have, only thing that matters is the taste, right? Exactly. I have no misconception that I'm an expert chef or cook or anything like that. I know what my, my uh, skill level is, and it's pretty dang low, but it's going to be good. Watch. It's going to be delicious. Better say good stuff. Look, he's telling me I better say something good. <laughs> Donald is the best. <laughs> I always say good stuff. I don't have any complaints. Uh, you ready? You ready to see this? Oh, he, he getting ready to do the, uh, even the coup de gras. Is that what they call it? Coup de gras? Come on with it, player! There we go. So I believe, I believe it's ready. So let's check it out. Oh, honey, that looks delicious. You proud of yourself? I'm a little bit proud of myself. I didn't get a full cheese melt that I was looking for, but I didn't want to overcook and make the eggs hard and dry. So I decided to let the cheese melt with ambient air. Ambient air? Okay, player. <laughs> Alright, baby, hand me the hand me the uh camera. Alright. It looks exactly the same every time he makes it. There you go. He has really big chunks of meat. I'm gonna teach him a method that will help him. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just gonna let him keep doing it how he does. There you go. Oh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you always tell me, blow your food, let it cool off. It's good. There you go. It's delicious. Thank you, baby. It was made with love. Yes, it was. This is really, really good. <laughs> but we gotta get our uh, hash browns out the air fryer yeah. eventually. And we're gonna get two forks in this plate and we're gonna dig in. There you go. But this is delicious. guys so we're gonna go ahead and eat our little breakfast and the next clip you'll see us showing you a view of the RV park. Alright fam. Alright fam. Thanks for breakfast. Oh you're welcome. Man. Amazing. 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 <laughs> What's going on? Just taking DJ out for a little walk after breakfast, and I am currently standing in spot 11, as you saw, walking up. Now, I can tell you these spots are huge. Uh, got some training going on, but I can tell you these spots are huge. They gotta be at least 60 feet long, so basically they can hold whatever. They can hold. They can handle one of those class A's you see pulling those big old trailers, those matching trailers. That's a pretty cool setup. 
But yeah, this spot will hold it. Now, this place has been called a glorified parking lot because there's no laundry, there's no bathroom. There's basically, there's no dog park close by or anything like that. It's basically just 16 well-made spots. And I'm thankful for it, it's full hookup, so what can you say? Let me go ahead and show you around a little bit more. To show you guys this there's one spot right behind me that people are known for uh i haven't got a chance to talk to them yet i haven't seen them outside yet but everybody said they're out there watering their little area and stuff you can tell the grass is greener and everything and they got a large little plot that is a prime spot so if you can get spot 12 make sure you ask a spot 12 while you're out here um i noticed that they planted some trees here every spot has their own little tree on it now nah, they're pretty small right now not enough for shade but in the next few years Hey, I think this spot going to be really nice. But right now, it's still a good spot to uh, take a little rest, take a little break in it. And uh, I'm glad we're able to enjoy this benefit. All right, fam. Hey fam, I apologize for the wind. Just wanted to show you this. This is basically the only building on the site. And I don't even know what it's for. It's got what, four lights in there. And that's about it. <laughs> but hey, it's some good shade on those super hot days or if it's raining and I'm outside. Hey, I can always hide, hide out under here for a bit, minute. Hey, I don't know what it's for, but hey, maybe you guys know. If you do, let me know. in the car again there you go. and I'm trying to talk loud I feel like I'm shouting anyway we just showed you a few of the amenities that they have on post yeah. so I told you that they have uh, the gym has showers in it if you want it to take a shower yeah and then you have the laundromat on post mm -hmm. right and so now they have like a miniature golf uh, they have a pool area and then they have the go-kart racing. Yes. So, of course, Donald and I have to do the go-kart racing <laughs> because I have to challenge him, right? There you go. The competitive spirit will start to come out. It, it's coming out, fire right? And stuff. So, she it can. looks like they have nice, you know, they it, even though the, the RV site itself doesn't offer much, the base has some good stuff too yeah so we're also going to go to the travel office or the travel center yeah to see what's around in the area to do because i don't want it to be like a stay-at-home type thing there right and so uh yeah i think we're gonna have fun here you know it is what you make it you gotta make it fun so that's what we're gonna do our neighbors were telling us about something called fantastic caves where it's not a lot of walking and it's nice and cool and we got a cool front coming through finally it's been over it's been in the hundreds every day but i think yeah. starting tomorrow we got a couple of days of cooler weather so we should try to get out as best we can we should and speaking of our neighbors Yesterday, I was going through it, y'all, and I always listen to Tamala Man on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, and when I type in Tamala Man in church, if you go all the way to the end, so, so another lady starts singing, but at the end, Tamala oh. Man sings, right? 
And I'm telling you, if you're spiritual, you it's it's amazing, yeah. right? So I listened to that, and I listened to some Joy by Kirk Franklin. You know, just stuff to lift my spirits, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm in, and Donald was like, "Well, play this and play this." So yeah, we oh, now, with we having a gospel concert, and so Donald was like, "Well, let me go walk the dog because it's getting late, right?" He goes out there and he comes in. and He was like, "Babe, you are." Blasting that music outside, <laughs> and I'm like, "What? I didn't press any outside buttons." When I tell you, we gave the neighbors a concert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got Zone A is the inside speakers, and, and zone, zone B is the outside speakers. We had Zone A and Zone B on, and so, so yeah, we it was pretty were, loud. It, Donald said it was louder outside than it was yeah. inside, and I was like. Oh well, everybody can. Everybody could uh, use a little Jesus, a little God, go. a little spiritual. Okay. But anyway, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this video. We will see you in the next. Hey, well, remind you guys to hit that like button if you haven't already subscribed. Please make sure you do so. And hey, share it if you if you're in the mood to share. I don't know how the share button works, but hey, I don't need try it. that too. But just tell your family and friends because we're trying to grow the channel. So yeah. don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, fam. And with that being said, <laughs> remember to get out there and do something good for yourself. And for others as well. And for others as well. Y'all take it easy, fam. Thank you, fam. <laughs>